Hello in England, we're looking at a Victor Passmore catalogue raisonné. We have one in Malta as well, so we have one at each end. And the, the book is a large book and a generously printed book. And if you look beyond the dust jacket, you can see that this was not printed on a shoestring budget. This was printed to give it the wow factor. It's definitely got the wow factor. You can call it a coffee table book if you want to. Most people would call it a coffee table book. But the contents show the work of Passmore. It's a catalogue raisonné, and they're trying to capture his works. And it's extremely detailed. There's 280 photographs or pictures in this book. And you can see they have done it properly. And in the centre, the, they've taken some really good examples of pictures. At the, at the latter end here, you've got some of his architecture. Um, Nearer the end, you've got this abstract stuff, which everyone thinks that when people talk about Passmore, this is what they think of. To the middle of the book, nearer the front of the book, you've got some of the way, wavy line stuff he did in the 50s, about 1950. This is when he was starting to move away from literal pictures to abstract. The waves, the gardens of Hammersmith, this is where it changes. And then, of course, before the abstract, you've got what I would describe as fairly ordinary French style paintings. Fairly anonymous, I would say. I think he got bored of doing these. Though, obviously, they're good paintings. Some of them are, were actually done in France, according to the titles and the detail and the costume. So the book is a wonderful book. There are a lot of money. It's impossible to buy one now, unless you're lucky, for under £250 sterling. And being heavy and expensive, it's very hard to move them around, ship them, without spending money. So we have a Victor Passmore catalogue raison. Thank you.